Another pair, another pair, another pair, another pair, show you another pair. What's going on, GOAT gang? Welcome back to another pair. I am your host, Nate, AKA The GOAT. And today I will be bringing you the Why Not Zero Three First Impressions. <laughs> I literally just got done recording the Kobe Pro Tro 5 First Impressions. Like, literally just got done. Here's the shoe. And after walking around in the Pro Tro 5s, bruh, like, <laughs> putting these on, bruh, these feels like straight bricks in my guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can feel that articulated zoom up here in the forefoot. You can, you, you can feel it. It is there. But it's a bit stiff. Like, we gonna need to break these bad boys in before we get any kind of comfort. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not saying that the shoe is, like, extremely uncomfortable when you put it on. I'm just saying, bruh, it ain't no Kobe Pro Tro 5 feeling, bruh. <laughs> the spy line up in here is a little bit. It's stiff, B. <laughs> a lot of bit stiff. As far as the aesthetics, uh-uh. <laughs> Aesthetically, these get a, a no bueno, bro. I'm not feeling this colorway at all, bro, in pictures or in person, bro. And to be honest, when I first seen these in the pictures, I was like, ooh, them is hot garbage, not feeling them. But I was like, let me calm down. I'm gonna give these the benefit of the doubt. Let me get them in hand first and then I'm gonna check them out. Now that I got these mofos in hand, nope, these is still hot garbage, bro. I'm gonna probably end up getting rid of these bad boys after the performance review and getting another colorway because there is a colorway that I seen that leaked out and I'm like, oh, I'm kind of feeling that one. I can do that one. But this kind of way, whoo, this is straight up a booty sauce. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm, mm, mm. Let me just, let me, let me show y'all what these look like on feet though. Like, you know, some of y'all like this colorway, but I'm not feeling it at all. One of my bros said these is hard. Like he a rock these, bro. Boy, <laughs> not me, sir. You won't catch me rocking these bad boys to a gas station. No, sir. I wouldn't even pump gas in these bad boys because these is trash. All right. Here we go again. Famous on feet, baby. Whoa, the famous on feet. I look, he almost tore my ACL getting up on here with this twisty chair. The famous on feet. I got him untied for y'all to try to give him a little bit of swag. You feel me? How y'all liking? What y'all think? Yay? Nay? I'm on the nay. These is garbage from the side. Ah, uh oh, bro. One day I'm going to tip this desk over, bro, and y'all going to die out because I'm not cutting it out. This is from the back. <laughs> and the other side. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me give y'all that. Let me give y'all that strike a pose moment. Say what? Mm, yeah. Them nice. Psych. <laughs> I don't like them. I don't like them. Y'all like them? How, how y'all like that front view? Nope. Time to get down. Nah, not me. Not me at all. But look at that traction though, bro. This got like this got like that uh like that modifying herringbone kind of look to it, which is super dope. Like I feel like we gonna be getting some superb grippage going on right here because when I'm feeling it, like the way I'm feeling it, bro, this stuff is kind of grippy. Like it's kind of grippy. We might be covered, dog, in every which way because this is multi-directional. Super dope. But uh, you know, one thing I do know about Russell Westbrook shoes is they are like good performers. So even though like these bad boys are super ugly, I. I I still expect this to be a good performer. I'm not knocking that at all, bro. Like that's that's the reason why I bought them because I know it's gonna be a solid performer. But after that performance review, I will be getting me another colorway of these because I I ain't gonna be able to do this, dog. Mm 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 mm. -mm. Sorry, Russ. Russ. No way. No can do, buddy. Now moving on to the materials, man. Um, a bunch of stuff. Textile, meshes, plastics, all all different times stuff. It's just a whole lot, bro. This this stuff is definitely layered up. You feel me? Like it's just crazy. And a whole bunch of craziness going on, as y'all can see, dog. It's just got stuff going on everywhere. Materials, yeah. I I, I dive more into that when the actual performance review come out, dog. You feel what I'm saying? As far as the fit is concerned, wide footers, narrow footers, everybody just go true to size. This is a one size fit all kind of deal, and I mean one size fit all, as in like if you wear a ten in a narrow foot or wide foot, then get a 10. Cause you know, I rock that 10. If you were a 13, wide foot, narrow foot, get that 13 dog because Everybody, these accommodate everybody, especially when the materials break in, you feel me? But like I always say, do not quote me on that, bro. Do not quote me on that if you can, which I'm pretty sure you can. These is probably gonna be available in store a whole lot. But if you can, go in store, try these on first, and then you make your decision. Don't be listening to me. Don't, don't, don't listen to me. But for some reason, if you can't try these on in store, then I really do think y'all will be okay going 
true to size. And that's wide footers and narrow footers. You feel me? But overall, man, yes, the Russell White Knot 03 is super extremely ugly. At least this colorway is. I'm not feeling it at all. But I am excited for the performance, bro. And like I said, Russell Westbrook always come out with a dope kick so far. The one, the two been super dope. And I'm I expect the three to be super dope. You feel what I'm saying? Like I can't, I can't, I actually can't wait to get this on the court. I feel like it's gonna be like 50% people gonna say, bro, what are those? Hey, I got one question for you, Nate. What are those? Like, I'm gonna get that a lot. I can feel it. Like, bro, you that is so 2000, what, 16, 15? Man, I'm I'm seriously trying to get myself to like these. I just cannot, bro. I just cannot. Oh yeah, I did pull this strap. I did take this strap and like kind of test it out. This strap is actually kind of functional, dude. It, it definitely kept me locked in. And my shoes went tight or nothing. Like I could probably play a whole game with it if I just pull this strap. It's a little stretchy to it too. But uh, yeah, man. I, like I said, I I am excited to get these bad boys on court. You know, the shoe is extremely ugly, but so what? Who cares? It's all about performance, right? Nah, it's not really all about performance. You gotta have some kind some kind of uh, uh, aesthetic ability, you know what I'm saying? Even though that's not a word, I just totally made that up. That's dope, and I think I might go ahead and patent that, actually. <laughs> what is that? Patent that? Or is it a... I don't know. That's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like if you loved it. Go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at another pair underscore. And as always, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Holla! I'm on a new way. Got a car, at least one pair. Wear test, hoop gear, shoe review. Another pair, another pair, another pair, another pair, another pair, another pair.